What's going on people and welcome to my match preview for tomorrow's game, the big one, Arsenal going up against Manchester United, clash of the history of the Titans, if you will, um, the biggest game I grew up on and fond memories. Difficult times to play in Arsenal, obviously top of the league, they're full of confidence, they're, they're self-assured, they, they know, everyone knows what they got to do under Arteta, they're well oiled. They don't have a lot of injuries. Um, I think it's going to be really tough, but I do think we can go there and get something. So I'm going with a 2-2 draw. No Casemiro, obviously, which is a massive miss. No Delo, which is a shame. So the lineup that Ten Hag will go with is going to be interesting to see. I'll go through mine in a minute, but I'm really excited for the game tomorrow. As long as we can come away from the game with at least a point, I'll be delighted. I wouldn't be totally shocked if we do lose because Arsenal are just... A ridiculously good team at the moment they're consistent they're not dropping a lot of points stable at the back as well and Arteta what he's doing there they all deserve huge credit um, as much as rivals as they are we need to be trying to copy some of the stuff they're doing in terms of successfulness just revamping do you know what I mean they really deserve huge credit and I do believe that they will win the title this year so but I do think we can go there and get something we're the only team that's beat them this season and I think that we could go and, and hamper them again and, and just delay their their, tr their trophy a little bit longer. So, line-up-wise, I'm going with De Gea, Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Then I'm going Varane and Martinez as the centre-backs. Luke Shaw at left-back. Um, and then the two in midfield, because there's no Casemiro. You all know I'm not a massive fan of McTominay, so he doesn't make the team for me. I'd give one of the youth a chance in the midfield of a guy that I've seen in a few little matches here and there and a few glimpses. And that is Zidane Iqbal. I don't think Ten Hag will do anything like this, but this would be my lineup. I would go with Fred and the youngster Iqbal, two holding midfielder roles. Then on the right, I would go with Bruno at 10, Eriksen. On the left, Garnacho, And then up top, I would go with Rashford. I know it's not his preferred position, but as I said in the last video also, the confidence he's in, I would go with Rashford up top. I know he was a bit off it in the last game in that position, but I still would go with him because Martial can't be relied on. He's not fit, always gets injured. They're not going to give the likes of McNeil a chance um, in such a massive game especially. So I would go with Rashford up top. Garnacho deserves to be starting for me as well. Um, and as I said, I'd give Iqbal, the youngster, a chance in the midfield because from what I've seen of him, he's looked very promising and he has a lot of potential. And we need to start giving these youth players some chances like we have with Garnacho. We need to see that more and more. We've built that club off of this. Like the history of Manchester United was built through youth, a lot of it. If you go back and do your, your homework, and we've kind of drifted away from that a bit. So we need to start getting back to that as well. And Iqbal, for me, looks a quality player and with a lot of potential. So I would give him a chance in this one. So that'd be my lineup. Be a really tough game tomorrow. But I'm ready for it. I'm excited. I think we can definitely get something from them if we show up. Um, as I said, I'm going with a 2-2 draw. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. If you're an Arsenal supporter as well, welcome to the channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, how confident you are about tomorrow, being the home team, being at Emirates. But I think we can come there and do something. So I'm going to say 2-2 and I'll see you guys soon.